We also have our UBC2M co-directors with us tonight. Please welcome Lauren Smith and David Haggerty. Good evening. I'm David Haggerty. And I'm Lauren Smith. And we are the co-directors of You Bring Change to Mind, an organization created by Bring Change to Mind to end the stigma surrounding mental illnesses on college campuses. You Bring Change to Mind has changed the lives of so many people on campus since it started at Indiana University two years ago. But before we explain what the organization does for students at IU, I think it's important to explain what the organization does for us. My sophomore year of college, I was diagnosed with generalized anxiety disorder. I stayed in bed most days, skipping class, bailing on my friends, but told myself that it was only seasonal. A couple of days in bed turned into a couple of weeks, and I finally made an appointment with the counselor at the health center. I've always organized my life into neat categories, my friends, my family, my relationships. They all had their own compartment where I could separate and understand each of them. As I walked from home from that counseling session, I felt like I'd been robbed, like someone broke into my brain, ransacked my emotions, and left a big mess. I couldn't breathe. Most days, I rarely got out of bed. I would leave for a UBC to a meeting, though. It was something that I enjoyed doing. This is a project that I believe in, and it's a project that's given me the courage to overcome my diagnosis. After my freshman year, I was diagnosed with borderline personality disorder and major depression. I somehow managed to muddle through my freshman year. I was successfully joined a fraternity, I became an all-conference lacrosse player, and I kept my GPA high enough to still be considered at medical school. But I was heading down a destructive and unsustainable path. I refused to seek help, no matter how bad things got. I thought this was what it was like for students who wanted to succeed, and to succeed meant there was no room for mental illness in my life. Thankfully, some close friends noticed what was going on and helped me get the, helped me get the help I needed. I realized two important things from seeking help, though. Success and mental illness can coexist, and there might be more to recovery than just medication and therapy. I took a class with Dr. Pesca Salito my freshman year, and I remember walking into her office, telling her my story, and that I wanted to use my experience to help others. Originally, I thought joining a group that tied me to mental health scared me, but this organization has been more effective than any sort of therapy and medication I've ever taken. You Bring Change to Mind has changed my life. It what keeps me alive most days. And for that, I want to thank all of you, the UBC2M community, for your continued support. Since our involvement as co-directors, we've registered UBC2M as an official student organization and developed a board of student directors. Recently, we've collaborated with the athletics department to develop an event that focuses on mental health. We presented this idea to the IU Foundation and were awarded the METS grant, a prestigious award for student organizations on campus. We were also a large presence at Sex, Drugs, and Rock and Roll, which is a welcome week event that informs first year students about health resources on campus. Our booth educated students about the stigma behind medications used to treat mental illnesses that are often abused on college campuses. We gave away UBC 2M materials and were awarded best organization by the students. Our kids continued support of the College Toolbox project and research that Dr. Pesca Salito is conducting has also been a large focus in the last year. UBC 2M was, pres was present at every freshman orientation this summer. We collected survey responses and informed new students about health resources on campus. We've also implemented new programs around campus that allow students to connect to those who are mentally ill on a personal level. Professors have invited panels of You Bring Change to Mind members to talk about their experience with mental illness. Not only do these panels help educate students in class, but as panelists, we check in with one and each other and have created a support system for each other. Dr. Pesco Salito has also taught a new sociology course, hashtag stigma sucks, which takes, on <laughs> which takes on the stigma surrounding mental illness from a social research and policy perspective. The anti-stigma campaign competition that both Glenn and Pamela came to Bloomington last spring to judge also stems from this course. You Bring Change to Mind has done more than just help the two of us. David and I continually have friends or students come to us and share their stories with us and explain the impact that this program has had on them and our university. On behalf of those students and ourselves, we'd like to say thank you to all of you who have generously donated to this organization. We ask that you continue to help us start these important conversations at Indiana University so we can share lessons learned with college students around the country. Thank you. Thank you.